We're going we're gonna to take that as inspiration for Sharon's next segment now. So, hey, Sharon, how are you? Orange. When people think orange, they're either thinking Halloween or they think I'm frightened. There's no way I'm putting this color exactly. in my house. Exactly. You've this done is what they think. a whole palette of orange here, and it's beautiful. It's actually kind of calming. It is, and I think that's really what I wanted to talk about was how we can bring orange into our interiors without bringing in the ones that we tend to think about. Like when you say okay. orange to someone, they say, oh, no, I don't like decorating with orange because they think of an orange. Right. <laughs> or they think of a pumpkin, as you said. So yeah. I thought that I just wanted to grab a variety of oranges right. um, that we have to show the, the gamut. I mean, I, you could almost call Brian's Wall, that Boston brick, part of the orange family. It's a red orange. Absolutely. So it really has a lot more variety than what we think of. So those You've are all of with more of the grayish ones, the subtle ones. Is that why yes. we're not feeling so... We ah. call it clay. You call it terracotta. Right. Um, you know, uh, pumpkin, blush, soft pumpkin. Those mm. colors are the ones that you tend to want to decorate with. So I actually did this board with... I went to Kravit Fabrics and picked That's out beautiful. a lot of their new... the new things they had for fall. And yeah. I just wanted to show how orange is not so much trendy, like it's not trending per se right now, but it also has a classic element to it. We always find oranges, and certainly in the fall, yes. this time of year, which is my favorite, we see lots of them. So I thought there's really beautiful, sophisticated European fabric on a linen with the butterfly, but it's just so beautiful. And you could work like a beautiful Firenze orange with that. And then you've got right. the more um, funky Diane von Furstenberg patterns in the bright orange and the, and the um, animal prints. And then again, some of the softer, more neutral ones. So absolutely, I want to steal Brian's cushion because it would look perfect in this, in this uh, it works, little right? board. It is absolutely gorgeous. So exactly. I guess if you want to, I mean, the more shocking orange is when you have, you know, orange with white. I've seen kitchens yes. like that where you have the white and it's like high gloss and then you've got the orange appliances. That's shock value. But this, when exactly. you pair it with the browns and the greens, it's a lot more common. Because in that case, you'd want a brighter one and you'd match For it with sure. the white. And what I wanted to show was kind of how to make it not so not so bold. Yeah. So one of the keys with orange is to not match it, is to not bring a lot of black accessories in it. Because okay. that's where you can avoid that Halloween look. Right. So I found this fantastic set from EQ3. So all the pieces are from EQ3, but I went to Canvas Gallery for starters to find a painting. And I, I always find inspiration place. from artwork, absolutely. And this one's gorgeous. And as you can see, there's actually not a lot of orange in it. And that's part of the thing, too. I mean, we're always talking about how you, your artwork doesn't have to match everything. Mm -hmm. It can inspire it. So I thought all those natural colors in it and the texture really helped to inspire the set. So Firenze on the wall is my ultimate favorite. And anyone who knows me knows my favorite is orange. My favorite color is orange. In fact, my whole family's favorite color is orange. Really? My Did you kids make them like do those bright orange. No, I think because they knew how much we liked it, they just started to like it. We That's all have different awesome. oranges though. Okay. But Firenze is definitely one of mine. And so instead of adding black accessories, I would recommend going with wood, like natural woods, darker woods even. Right. And bringing in the hits of darker color, like this mossy green in the glass, for example, which I think I kind of pulled out of the out of the painting again. So use your artwork kind of as inspiration. Bring in coppers. That's another variation mm -hmm. of orange. So again, play with all of those tones. Of course, some grays and some blues. Um, I love that Brian was talking about the blue sofa as being a neutral. Yeah. And I find that blue is definitely become more of a neutral. We think of it as a sky outside and everything you put against it outside looks fantastic. So I always like to add a little bit of blue which is the complementary color to orange. So I like to bring a hit of that into a space um, to make it feel a bit more exciting, a little bit more lively. So what you don't want to do is just have a whole bunch of the same orange everywhere. Exactly. You it's, not gonna look, it's not going to no. look right. There's something about a monochromatic palette. And as we go through the next season, I'm going to be talking more about monochromatics because we're seeing a lot of them. But it's mm -hmm. how you layer it and how you texture it. So even though we've worked with um, orange as the main color, we've got different sheens of orange in the, in yeah. the accessories and the cushions. So this is a little bit shiny. We've got the darker, um, almost sort of a rusty color in the cushion so it's really playing with all of the different textures and levels of, of orange and yes. then again staying away from black and white with orange is a really good tip when you want to have this more natural look natural yeah. linens like in this really comfy chair that I can't believe I haven't sat down in. Yet. It looks so <laughs> good and the more I study you the more I realize your hair has taken on an orange tinge. Isn't that funny? It's you my You really fault. do like the orange don't you Sharon? <laughs> it actually looks so good on you that That's color. That's so funny. I love it. See I grew up with a mom who at some point dyed her hair burgundy orange. Oh, like, I love it. I have this thing about women with that beautiful colored hair. <laughs> I just think it's gorgeous. It all goes back to my mom so you look it's really fun. really good. Thank you. Yeah. Well,